Hello friends, in this video of DSC module, let us see about fire control. For that, we need fire images which we can use from image navigator. So first, let us open the image navigator window. Under nature category, we can see multiple fire images. From here, I am selecting any two fire images and placing them on front panel one by one. So after placing both the fire images, I am also placing a boolean round LED on the front panel from controls palette. So now I am going to customize this boolean round LED with these fire images. So I have to do a right click on this boolean round LED and then select advanced and then click on customize a front panel with this boolean round LED will open where we can customize this boolean round LED. So first we have to set this front panel to customize mode. Then we have to copy both the fire images and place them on this front panel. Then we have to import these two fire images into this boolean round LED. So we have to do a right click on this first fire image and select copy to clipboard. And then do a right click on this boolean round LED. By clicking import picture from clipboard, we have imported the first fire image for the false condition of the boolean round LED. So next we have to import the second fire image for its true condition. So we have to again change this front panel to customize mode and then do a right click on the second fire image. Select copy to clipboard and then do a right click on this green boolean round LED and then click on import picture from clipboard. So now we have imported the second fire image for the true condition of the boolean round LED. So after that I am renaming boolean as red fire and then I am deleting the two fire images which I have placed on this friend panel and then I am saving this friend panel by naming it as red fire. Then on this front panel, if I click on the fire images which I have imported, we can see both the fire images. So next, if I try to close this front panel, a pop-up message will rise asking, replace the original boolean control with the red fire control. We have to select yes and then click on save. Now we can see that our boolean round LED on the main front panel has been replaced with the customized fire image. Then we can delete the fire images which we have placed on this front panel from image navigator. Then do a right click on this customized fire image under visible item. If we unselect label, label of this fire image will become invisible. And on block diagram screen, I am making this boolean round LED as an icon by clicking on view as icon. And then I am placing this boolean round LED inside a while loop for continuous execution. Since this loop will be continuously executing, in order to stop this loop, we have to give stop condition to this loop. So we have to connect a control to this while loop. So now I am connecting a control. And then on the front panel, let us drag and place the stop button to the location where we like. And now I am placing a boolean push button on the front panel and naming it as control. And on block diagram screen, I am dragging and placing this boolean push button inside this while loop. And then I am adding a shift register to this while loop by doing a right click on this while loop and by selecting add shift register. As we all know that shift register can carry data from current iteration to next iteration. Next we have to connect a false constant to the left side terminal of the shift register. Then I am connecting the left side terminal of the shift register to its right side terminal. And after that I am doing a right click on this wire and then I am inserting a NOT gate to this wire by selecting a NOT gate from boolean palette and next I am placing an AND gate inside this while loop to give inputs to this AND gate I am connecting this boolean push button to one of its input terminal and to the other input terminal of the AND gate I am connecting the output from NOT gate 
so this not gate will help us to give alternate true and false input to and gate and the output of and gate is connected to this red fire boolean round led we all know about and gate only if both the inputs to the and gate are true we will get output as true if any one of the input is false the output will be false now let us run this program then on front panel when we switch on this boolean push button the fire will be like warning because we will be getting true and false alternatively as output from the and gate so both the images that we have customized will appear alternatively so this red fire image will appear like a burning furnace next we can run this program with some delay so i am placing a wait function inside this loop and i am connecting a constant to it and i am giving 100 millisecond now we can run this program this program will be executed with 100 millisecond delay so now we can stop this program and we can do the same thing with blue fire image so we have to place a boolean round led on this front panel and then we have to follow the same procedure as we did with the red fire image so we have to do a right click on this boolean round led then select advanced and we have to click on customize so our front panel with this boolean round led will open and now from image navigator we have to select and place two fire images on this front panel and then we have to import these images into the boolean round led as we did before with red fire the application of this fire control indication is in scara program red fire indication can be used to create burning furnace and blue fire indication can be used to create gas furnace by naming it as blue fire i am saving this front panel so we have customized the boolean round led on the main front panel with blue fire images then i am doing a right click on this blue fire then on visible item if i unselect label the label of this blue fire will become invisible to create a blue fire warning furnace on block diagram screen we have to place this blue fire round led parallel to the red fire round led and output from and gate should be given as input to it if we run this program and switch on the boolean push button both the fire indication appear like a red and blue burning furnace this program will be continuously executing until we press stop button so in this video we have seen how to create fire control indication in our next video we can see our next topic thanks for watching please subscribe and support thank you